calmed down a little bit after the old uh, skydive. Um, I'm done in Queenstown now. Um, leaving, I'm on my way uh, up north, uh, into a northeasterly-ish direction to Mount Cook. The first night in the Mount Cook village. Um, and then um, I tried to get one night accommodation there um, and then two nights in an Airbnb staying on a little farm and apparently I get to feed the pigs and collect my own eggs from the hens in the morning so that will be fun um, and the objective of going to Mount Cook and then to Carpo is obviously the scenery um, do some hiking trails um, and of course late night astrophotography um, which I really 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 love doing so I am fingers crossed um, that we'll have some clear skies. The weather forecast hasn't been so great, if I'm honest, but I don't have any, enough any more days to, um, to play with. Yeah, man, just uh, driving, baby. How cool is this? I'm surrounded by lavender. It smells really good. I love lavender. Area, including Mount Cook, is a national is a is a protected region for light conservation. So, obviously, to maintain all of the good, great astronomy views, etc., etc., there is um, an observatory with big telescopes, etc., um, in Takapo, which is about an hour or so away from here, and they do special guided night tours. Um, and I was lucky enough to get the last spot. They've got two different observatories. I managed to get the last spot available for the next week in one observ observatory tonight, starting at 10.40 p.m. Um, and I managed to get the last spot available at the main observatory tomorrow night, which is at 2 a.m. Um, super, super awesome. Now, on tomorrow night's one, I get to attach my SLR camera directly to the telescope to take deep space pictures, uh, which will be absolutely breathtaking. Now, of course, this whole thing is weather dependent, and the forecast for tomorrow is for the clouds to come in and for it to rain, but regardless, I've booked tomorrow's one anyway. I know the weather forecast isn't good because, you know, if I don't try, I'll see nothing. Um, so I may as well try, even if I just see one star, one planet, it will be it will be worth it. So it's just after nine now. So I'm just rocketing down these roads um, on the way to, uh, to Carpo. I'm really, really excited. It's about two o'clock in the morning and I have got back from the um, late night astronomy tour. Had a few problems with this camera whilst I was on the tour so I couldn't really do any shooting. I've got a full super moon, uh, which means that the moon's at its closest point in its um, orbit to Earth, which makes it bigger and it's a full moon, um, so that makes it a little bit difficult. Um, but the, the cloud cover has actually been um, not bad. We could see quite a lot of, a, a lot of sky, so it was all right. I got a nice few little snaps of Mount Cook and stuff in the background. Um, that behind me over there with the moon shining over it is um, it's Mount Cook and there are rabbits everywhere man but yeah it's like I'm in the middle of nowhere uh, it's pretty it's pretty cool man pretty scary as well I'll see if I can actually show you some stars that if you can see it is the Southern Cross, which you can't get in the Northern Hemisphere. And you know it's the Southern Cross because these two form a straight line with the bottom part of the Southern Cross. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So after a long night of stargazing, just woken up, gonna head out for a jog and take a look at my view. Just wanted to grab that quickly. Got a little time lapse going over here for about half an hour or so, just to capture a bit of movement in the clouds. Anyway, plan is right now, I'm gonna go for a jog uh, and then I've got a couple of uh, little, and then check out of here, or check out of here, go for a jog and then I've got a couple of little hiking tracks to, uh, to do this morning. Just looking 
looking at the lake on this walk. Got a little time lapse going over here. This is a really beautiful, beautiful walk. Really enjoying it. Cool view, huh? 